Unraveling English, a journey into the subjective case of pronouns. Hello, language explorers. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English grammar. We'll uncover the secrets of the subjective case in personal pronouns. This might seem complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down into bite-sized pieces. Firstly, let's refresh our memory on what a pronoun is. Pronouns are used in everyday speech and writing to replace nouns, making our conversations smoother and less repetitive. Instead of saying, John said that John is going to the park, we say, he said that he is going to the park. The subjective case of personal pronouns is what we use when the pronoun is the subject of a sentence. The subject is the doer of the action. In English, the subjective personal pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Let's look at some examples. I am studying for an exam. You are playing the guitar. He likes chocolate ice cream. She is reading a book. It is raining outside. We are planning a trip. They are moving to a new city. Notice that in each of these sentences, the pronoun is doing the action. One common mistake that English learners make is confusing subjective case pronouns with objective case pronouns. Objective pronouns are used when the pronoun is receiving the action, as in, John gave the book to her. It's incorrect to say, her gave the book to John. Instead, we should say, she gave the book to John. Remember, if the pronoun is doing the action, use the subjective case. That's it for our journey into the subjective case of personal pronouns today. Understanding and using the subjective case correctly can make your English sound more natural and fluent. Keep practicing, as mastery comes with time and application. Tune in for our next video where we'll explore the objective case of pronouns. Remember, language learning is a journey, not a race. Keep exploring and happy learning!